How's it going everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video what I've got for you is an investing slash buying video. Uh, I streamed earlier today and uh Pretty much every question was when should I buy this player? When should I sell this player? When should I buy? Who's a good investment, etc., etc. And uh, I wanted to make a video covering my opinions on different players that I think are good buys and different players that I think are maybe just a little bit too cheap right now to purchase. Now, I do want to start off by saying that this is going to be heavily SBC related. I think that in the next couple of days, we're going to see a bunch of new SBCs. Now, of course, we get once to watch in a few days, so I think that will uh, heavily influence the SBCs we get. Um, but I think right now, now, players are quite cheap because the game has just come out fully on uh, on most consoles. Um, so I think players right now are pretty cheap. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is my transfer list. Now, the players I'm holding on to are people like the Juan Matas, people like uh, Savage, Gerard Moreno, um, and the people that are 83, maybe 84 rated that just aren't selling for a whole lot at all. I'm holding on to in the club. Uh, I think 2,500 coins is just not enough for me to sell Juan Mata, and 1,000 coins is not enough for me to sell Savage. Same with, uh, with Gerard Moreno. I think that's ridiculous ridiculously cheap. So I am holding on to those kind of players and I think they're the kind of players you want to hold on to and, pur and purchase a few more of. Um, if I was to look at some 83s on the market, for example, um, or sorry, 84s on the market, for example, uh, William Carvalho comes to mind straight away. And I think this guy is super cheap. 2,000 coins for an 84, in my opinion, is very cheap. And it can't hurt to just throw some bids on players, really. Uh, I think that a, a good a good idea would be just to throw, if you see some bids like for 1.9k, you're probably not going to win all these cards, but if you mass bid on a few of them you got a good chance of winning maybe one or two so uh throwing 1.9k bids on 84s like william carvalho in my opinion is a really good bet and i think that you're pretty safe with that because there's no way these cards are going under sort of 2,000 coins there's no way these cards are going under and when the ones to watch comes out or maybe the play of the month or maybe any sbc that is uh that is required for um sorry that that requires 84s or 83s for the sbc or just has a a decent rating i think that's when you're going to make a lot of bank on these cards it's not one of those that's going to rise uh going to rise like throughout the week but it's going to be one that 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 massively skyrockets when a new sbc comes out and if by some chance we don't get an sbc on once to watch and we don't get an sbc for player of the month that requires any 83s or 84s then it's just like 10 20 000 coins that you could just hold on to maybe in the transfer list maybe into your uh into your store item list or maybe just into your watch list or transfer targets uh it's just more players you can hold on to and it's not a big deal holding on to players like that you're not going to lose out on coins uh, and of course with div rivals it's one weekend or sorry one thursday and you get that many coins back anyway so it's not a big deal at all if you ask me now, another thing that I think is going to be a good investment is purchasing some inform cards from certain leagues. So, uh, if we go for special cards in the Premier League and we have a look at the Premier League informs that we have right now, of course, we have like the Granite Xhakas, we have the Yarmolenkos, the Frasers. And I think it'd be a good bet to try and pick up a couple of these cards. Now, I think I might be a little bit late to this actually, um, looking at some of the prices we saw just a second ago. But Ryan Fraser should be a good, a, a, a pretty decent purchase, if you ask me. Uh, if you do find a Granite Xhaka for quite cheap, he'd also be a decent purchase. Um, but I think that getting an inform from the Prem or maybe a couple of informs from the Prem, the reason I think that this is a good purchase is because if we do get a uh, play of the month Lucas SBC that requires an inform for the Prem, even if it's a, a high rated team, like an 86 team, this guy's still going to go up in price. So I think that is a safe bet to get in for 13k because it's still 13k in my opinion is, is you know, you, you, if you lose 10 Sorry, if you lose uh, 1,200, 1,300 coins on the card from discarding him or maybe listing him up, it's really not bad at all. So I think that it's definitely worth it. Now let's move on to some higher rated cards. Slatan Ibrahimic, an 85 rated for 7,000 coins. There's no way I'm not picking that card up. I think that for 7,000 coins, this is a steal. Honestly, I really do. I think that uh, for, with an 85 for, for this many coins, it's really a good deal. Um, and for any SBC, he's going to rise up a little bit. Now he is uh, not a great nation and not a great league. So he isn't going to be the most used of cards. However, if we get an SBC with a blanket rating of 84, 85, 86 maybe, this guy is going to rise up now. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is how worth it is to do gold upgrade SBCs. I want to show you guys my club and my untradable club to, uh, to be precise. So uh, we'll go low to high and gold and I'll show you guys my untradable club. I've got an inform there, but, uh, but this is mainly what I want to talk to you guys about. We've got a bunch of 83s and a bunch of 84s in the club and a couple 85s, maybe a couple 86s as well. Um, um, I think that I've done pretty well with the gold upgrades. And the reason I want to talk to you guys about this is because this is maybe from 80,000 to 100,000 coins worth of gold upgrades at 
maybe at a push, maybe 120,000 coins. It's really not that much though. If you guys are people that buy a lot of thief points and you store all your players, I genuinely think it's worth to do a few gold upgrades and try and get a few board drops. Maybe a, you get looking at a walkout or maybe just get a few 83s and 84s. And the reason I think that is because then it makes a lot of SPCs a whole lot cheaper, essentially almost free. And it helps out the club and it helps out the coin balance a lot when doing a bunch of different SPCs. I think that we are expecting a bunch of new SPCs to come very, very soon. Um, we are now essentially a week into the game almost with, uh, with early access users and PlayStation users, of course, only a day into the game. However, I am genuinely very much expecting to have like a wants to watch SBC or maybe like a, a, a Champions League SBC or maybe just any kind of SBC in general, I think that we are genuinely very close to expecting one. So I think that it's worth maybe picking up a few of these cards for sure. I, I, I can't see a problem. And uh, let's have a look at some of the ones that we just bidded on. Damn, we lost every single one of them. That feels bad. But uh, we are winning a few others though. We're winning a few others. So we might win a few. We might lose a few. That's just the way it goes though, sadly. Um, you know, out of mass bidding, you win some and you lose most of them. You know, you lose, in fact, 90% of them. So, um, sadly, that's just the way it goes. However, with a lot of these uh, these discard or low-risk trading methods and trading, investing methods and stuff like that, you really don't need to do too much blanket investing. Now, in terms of players like Mbappe and players that are going to go up, um, I don't really have too much advice right now apart from just hold on. Uh, Mbappe, when I bought him for 390k, went up to 430k that night, and I probably should have flipped him because right now he's 388k. However... I have no intention of selling him anytime soon. Same with Sane. Sane went up to 130k, um, the German left back Sane. He went up to 130,000 coins and he's currently down to 120,000 coins. However, I have no intention of selling him, so that's why I'm not worried. It's players like uh, that you pick up now that are going to rise. For example, how much is Aubameyang right now? Aubameyang right now is 290,000 coins and he's been fluctuating between 290k and 320k for the last god knows how long. He's a good investment, he's a solid investment if you have the coins. He's expensive, but he's a solid investment. Davis and Sanchez are the same. Sadly, people couldn't buy him for 20k, he's gone up to 40k and he's still extinct. I think he'll be up to 60k and possibly still extinct if that's his price range. That's just my opinion. But if you're really looking for some solid buys that you think are going to flip like 10, 20,000 coins the next few days on, I would go for the 83 rate cards like Gabi Jesus. I I actually picked this guy up two days ago for 63,000 coins and even then I thought that was cheap and now he's about 55k and I'm not worried again because I'm not going to sell him uh, soon but this guy will easily go up 10, 15k in the next few days 100% and come first weekend league will definitely be up to that 80,000 coin mark if you ask me. Same with Aspi. Aspi is incredibly cheap and then come first weekend league will definitely rise up a hell of a lot. Same with Goretzka, Komen. Uh, I don't know if they upped, they upped Hulk's price range to 30,000 coins and he's currently going for what? Like 12k? This guy will rise up to 15, 17,000 coins, 100% come first weekend league. Fred's the same. I actually packed Fred in a two-player pack. However, I think he was 20k extinct. I don't know what he's at now, but he will rise come first weekend league. Most of these OP-looking players will. And I think that's when you're going to look for your optimum sell time is that first weekend league. Um, how long is it until the weekend league, actually? The weekend league is in nine days and 10 hours. So that's a week and two days, right? <laughs> But that, surely that means it starts on a Wednesday. No, is it Tuesday today? It starts on a Friday, of course. So it's nine days and ten hours. So it's a week this Friday. I say your optimum sell date is probably next Wednesday, Thursday. It's probably the best time to sell it. Maybe if you can hold on until Friday, maybe Friday would be a good shout as well. Uh, but I think that your optimum, your optimum is probably uh, Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. Because when people are looking to try and get these kind of packs and these kind of coins and stuff like that, this guy got first in the world with eight wins. That's just incredible. I think that's when people are going to get super excited and start buying their teams and start spending a lot of coins on their teams. And I think that's ultimately when you want to look to sell. So, by the way, I want to ask you guys as well. Where do you guys think that you guys are going to be looking to aim around Weekend League? Where do you guys think you're going to finish? I'm probably going to end up finishing around Gold 3, Gold 2. Hopefully, if I play well, we'll see. But um, but I wanted to ask you guys that. Let me know what you think down below. And let me know down below any any comments you have of any players that you're holding on to. Let me know and I'll try and help you guys best as possible in the comments down below. I think we only won one of those William Carvalho's, didn't we? We won one of the William Carvalho's, but one is fine. 2,000 coins for that card is still decent. You know, we saved a few coins. I'll take it. I'm actually quite happy with that. We'll store him in the transfer list and uh, we'll look to sell him when SPCs come out. So, you know, mass tra mass, mass bidding isn't the, the best way to make coins uh, if you want to make them quickly. But if you guys have got time, then you can 100% make a, a, a lot of coins. It's like the same with like someone like Ibra. Ibra is what, 7,000 coins? Maybe we whack a few 4K bids on and we hope, hope we get lucky. 
It's very possible we could get lucky, very possible we don't get lucky. But if we whack enough on, we have, uh, you know, a, a sliver of hope that we could get these cards for, th for 4k. And maybe we sell them for like 7k. And then come first weekend league, he's got 5 star skills. I can see him being on the bench for a lot of teams as well. So, that is it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like down below. If you saw my stream from earlier, let me know down below as well. I'd love to hear if you guys saw my stream. I did stream for a good few hours earlier and it was quite fun as well. I did enjoy myself. Um, make sure you subscribe to my second channel as well. If you guys didn't know, I have a second channel. Channel, and we have Roto Glory on there. The first episode went live today, and the second episode is either going to go live later today or, or tomorrow. So uh, I'm excited for that because we get some insane pack look on the Roto Glory, and I'm super excited to release that episode. Thank you for watching this video, boys, and I'll see you later.